Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Let's consider we have a lot of folders in one of our source folder. We want to zip all of them to archive folder. Each folder will be zipped to its own file. Once the folders are zipped, we want to delete them from source folder. So let me show you. I have three folders in the input folder. Each of the folder has multiple files in them. So you can see that in the image for images folder, I have four files sitting here. And then if we go back, if we go to customer, it has also four files. They're mixed uh, somewhere Excel and text file and CSV files. What we want to do, we want to zip these folders and then move to the archive folder. So here on the desktop, I have archive folder that doesn't have anything as of now. So these uh, three folders uh, from the input folder, they should be zipped uh, and uh, each should have its own zip file. So that's also, we don't want to zip all of them together. We want to zip them as a separate. So customer, let's say in the, this case, uh, customer should have its own uh, file, customer.zip, sales, sales should have its own file, sales.zip, and image should have uh, images.zip file, and uh, they should be in the archive. Once uh, that is done, we want to delete them from the input uh, folder. So tomorrow, if you will create more folders with different files, you don't have to worry about that. The package should be taken, will take care of those folders automatically. So now, let's go to the SS. Uh, DT or bids and create SSIS package. So before we go here, let me give you quick, uh, quickly overview. Like what we are going to learn here, we are going to learn about package parameters. We are going to learn how to change the .NET framework from 4 to 4.5 in a script task, and then we will learn how to add the reference to some of assemblies we are going to use. Here we will be using system.io.compression.file system, and finally we will be using for each loop inside the script task, looping through those folders and zipping them, and then deleting them. So open your bits or SSDT. Go to the packages, right click here, new SSIS package. I always tell you guys, create the parameters or the variables. So why we do that? Because we can change the values of these parameters or the variables by using the configuration. And on each of the environment, maybe in production, UAT or QA, you will have different folder paths. So you don't have to make changes to the package. Instead, you will be making changes to the uh, these uh, parameters or variables by using the configuration. So that will make it the package dynamic. Add a parameter. In your case, if you have uh, variables, you are using a uh, package deployment or using old versions of SSIS, go ahead and create the variable with the same names. So we will call it source folder. And uh, here I'm going to provide the path. So it is going to be string. This is the path we want to provide. That's where our fo uh, folders are. Now, the next part is we will be creating another parameter. We call it archive folder. And here we'll be saving the path for archive folder. So let me go back here and get the archive folder path. So let, let me copy and paste it here. Now we are all good. In your case, you might have created the same uh, variables and I'm creating the parameter. Doesn't matter, whatever you want. So now go to control panel and here we will be using the script task. I could have used the for each loop and loop through them and uh, write some expressions and then finally use the script task. But here in this video, I want to use only the script task. Inside script task, we can uh, use the for each loop as well. So let's go open the script task. Here we'll be using those parameters. You, if you, in your case you are having variables, you will select the variables. In my case, it's uh, parameters, so I'm selecting parameters. So hit OK. Now go to Edit. And I have prepared the script, so I don't want to write it uh, and waste time here. So I'm going to copy and just paste it, and I will show you. But before I paste the script, uh, there are certain things we need to do. As uh, remember, uh, we were. Uh, talking about changing a .NET framework because there are some assemblies or there are some functions or methods available for us that can help us to zip those files or folders. So we'll be using that. To add that, we have to go to solution here, right click, properties, 
first of all change the targeting framework from uh, .NET framework 4 to 4.5 so this will save it ok next part we will be adding those uh, assemblies so we will add those reference add reference and here you can see that now I have .NET framework 4.5 and I can go down and uh, I need to use system.io.compression.file system assembly so it uh, ok close this one and now we can go ahead and paste our script here in the main so now if you see that here we will be adding some uh, namespaces here so let me add the namespace here we will say using system.io.compression and also we can use system using system.io. that's all because we will be dealing with the input files or folders so we can use system.io to deal with them now we are all good here if you see that I'm declaring some local variables why because I don't want to write this part over and over where I ever I need to use it so once I declare the local variables save the values of these package parameters in these variables then I can use them in your case let's say we are saying string input folder so DTS dot variables dollar sign package so that's how you use your package parameter if you're using project parameter you will say dollar sign project and if you are using a variable no big deal you will just say user so that's how you will be doing it so let's uh, undo it now I'm using package parameter so I'm going to use that dollar sign package and then the name of that parameter so source folder then again I'm saying uh, archive folder DTS dot variables and then I will be using package parameter arc folder here so that's good next uh, what we will be doing here we will be looping through those uh, uh, input folders so here we have input folder and there are multiple folders inside so we will be using for each loop uh, to loop through this uh, input folder and then we will be zipping them and deleting them so let's open it here if you see that I'm saying for each loop so string directory in directory so get directories so I'm getting all the directories names from the input folder so once I have that so this is a um, array that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having uh, creating it here so I, I get all the file names uh, and then uh, I'm gonna loop through so from this uh, I will be using each timer it is gonna loop through and get me the directory so for, uh, in this case we have folders inside the input folder so that's what we will be using so I'm saying string folder name directly dot replace input folder and then uh, we we are replacing with the nothing so why we are doing that uh, input folder from the full path so if you see that what exactly we are trying to do we are trying to set the folder name so we are trying to get the folder name and the directory has the entire uh, path so it is uh, having uh, the complete path plus the plus the path itself so what we want to do input folder right so input folder if I will replace in the directory so le let me give you more example so hold on if I will have this uh, whole thing here and uh, let me go back here so when uh, we we this uh, um, this is gonna read uh, the directory this directory is going to get us uh, this part so it is going to get us this uh, but we want only get the folder name from here so if I will replace uh, directory dot replace input folder you know and then replace with the nothing uh, then this part will be replaced with the blank spaces uh, so I will be left with the only folder name so that's why I'm getting the folder name once I have the folder name I will be saying zip file so uh, this is a class we are using from io dot compression dot io dot compression and uh, then we are saying uh, we are us using this method create from directory and here what we are do doing uh, we are telling the directory so that's the entire path so this is going to be the entire path like this okay and next uh, we have archive folder that's uh, the archive folder path we have here 
but this one part will be left we need to add the file name plus zip so that's how we will be zipping them right so I'm adding the folder path that's the images in this case and then I'm adding dot zip so that's how what it will do it will take that directory input directory images in our case let's say this is the first record it read it will take it and then it will be converting that to the images uh, this part will be removed this will be replaced with the archive and then it will be images data zip so that's that's how it will archive them next uh, we will be deleting the directory itself so we have directory dot delete and inside the directory this is the path we have it so as we read and then we wanna delete it so we have set the true so if the files are even in the directory it is going to go ahead and delete the entire directory that's all we have it so copy this one sorry save it build it this script is also available on the blog spot so uh, you can go ahead in the description and click it and uh, then uh, just copy paste and make it work so close it now let's go and run the package So now a package completed successfully stop the package let's take a look what it has so if you see here in the archive it zip those uh, folders if we go to the input uh, folder we don't have anything so it zipped them to the archive and then it deleted them from the source so if I open the customer zip I should see those all files inside that folder and I can go ahead and open other zip files and we see the files so this is the way you can go ahead and if you are you are getting a lot of folders you need to um, zip them you can go ahead and zip them and delete them so uh, there are other videos I have in which I'm uh, unzipping those, these kind of files and then loading to SQL server table or I'm getting the file names from the zip files so there are a lot of videos I have created on zipping and unzipping or compression or uh, uncompressing them you can go ahead and uh, check on the list uh, so you, you there is a link uh, in the description say step-by-step -step video tutorial uh, for SSIS by Tech Brothers you can click here and uh, you will find around like a couple hundred uh, uh, videos on SSIS uh, so that might be helpful thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video